Hey, good afternoon everyone. So I'm now here at Far Eastern University. I'm with my English AN student. So I'm, this is for, what room is this? Okay, so this is AB408. Uh, so we are done with the great consultation for midterm. And I, we are currently doing the narrative essay. And also students will be doing the plan. So while waiting uh, for their narrative essay, I'm currently reading this book, The Tales of the Beetle the Bard. Uh, of course, written by the great J.K. JK Rowling. Uh, now, my daughter would ask me about if it's possible that I will be buying her all the collections for the uh, Rowling's uh, books, no? Harry Potter. So as we know, that Rowling uh, wrote the series of books about Harry Potter. When I was reading this, I think this is a very foundation. If you know, I think it's not easy to to let children read right away Harry Potter. But this one, I think, is highly recommended. When I was reading this, this is really this is really reader friendly in terms of the language used. In fact, the tales of the middle of the park are actually tales that are actually incorporated in the, the story Harry Potter. Now, I think this is composed of only so one, two, three, four, five, five tails, five tails here. So maybe I'll just start to plug the first one. First one is titled The Wizard in the Hopping Pot. Let me just uh, simplify the story. Now, if you'll read the book, this is actually written for purpose of charity. So the proceeds of this book would be going to uh, children, unfortunate children who do not have, in England, who do not have means to, to, to enroll or to avail of education. And so this book, uh, in fact, if you buy this, the proceeds will be going to charity. Now let me start by, now in terms of structure, it's like Rowling is writing about the tales and including commentaries from uh, from the teachers of from the teachers of the the school no? in Hogwarts uh, schools. No? Now there's one literary critic whose name is. Okay, so every each each story there is a critique. So in fact, this is literary criticism. That's Albus Dumbledore. Do you know him? So Dumbledore, if you are familiar with Harry Potter, Dumbledore is in fact critiquing the stories here. But I wouldn't really want to dwell on the criticism. But let me just tell you a story about that. You know the tales that are being imparted to children, no? children of Hogwarts. No? Now, uh, Rowling compared Muggle, Cinderella and the Sleeping Beauty to the Muggle, so non-magical non or non-wizard children. So for the Muggle or the non-wizard children, the story would usually be who wouldn't know Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, right? So, but then for the for the wizard's children, the story is this one. This is the story. So before they, they sleep, these are the tales that are being read to them. Now, really, if you, what I like in the introduction is that this one. Here in the, the tales, we need heroes and heroines who can perform magic themselves. They can perform magic, they have powers, and yet find but they find themselves not being able to solve their problems you see so the end is not merely having powers or magic but in fact the test is not to have a power but the test is about character it's about one's values and virtues so let me start with the first tale the wizard in the happy Punch. so it's a story 
of a good-natured wizard. So his neighbors would constantly visit him and ask for help. For example, if they have they are sick or they need any concerns, so they usually ask a help from that wizard. And he was using a pot. He was mixing and all. And then the solution, for example, medicine, he would be able to perform magic out of the pot. So, in other words, that is a good nature. He is a good nature magician, a wizard, because he's using his magic to help other people. But one day, that wizard died. He said he died. And so, who inherited the pot? It was the sun. But the problem is that the sun is not that kind. He, 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 it's not in his nature to help other people. He would want that people who do not have magic should, should work on their own, should find solution on their own. But then, what happened was he refused to help. And so the problem is there was a manifestation with the pot. Since he's not helping, so all the sickness, all the problems experienced by the people started to manifest in that pot. And so he became, the pot became bigger and bigger. And so the pot disturbed him wherever he goes. He can't sleep. He was very stressed. And so with all the manifestations of the pot, and so he wasn't able to sleep. So what happened? He, he decided to help the people. And from then on, when he started to help other people, the pot somehow became kind also, subsided in terms of his manifestations. And so they, they live happily ever after. So what's the problem there? The son who was a wizard, even if he has power, uh, even if he has power, still wasn't able to, still has a problem. Even if he has a power, magic, but then it does not solve everything because the problem is the attitude, not the problem. You see? So, same thing with us. It's not the talent, it's not the intelligence. Even if you're intelligent, but I think success does not end there, being intelligent. But you need to be really consistent with your attitude in order that you will achieve success. Right? Talent is just 1%. 99% is attitude, right? So the succeeding tales, I'll be reviewing them. So many tales here, quite interesting. I'll be reviewing this in the library. So for now, I will still have to check my students' uh, narrative essay. So thank you. Uh, for those of you who just tuned into this vlog, my name is Arnel Madraso, I'm the teacher blogger. So I'd like to thank my viewers from the United States, those who are in uh, Saudi Arabia, Australia. Thank you for always viewing me. I do not know exactly what you are getting here in my blog, but uh, I promise to keep you updated, no? share you what I'm doing. Maybe you are teachers, no? maybe, maybe you are learners of English. So thank you for always supporting clicking this blog right so bye see you later